So this is uh, this is the rock where most of the stuff come from. It's soapstone. So that is a raw soapstone. So what they do, they they cut this from the quarry, they shape it into whatever they want to make. So this is a family unity whereby like there's two parents and two kids. So it's all like a uncrafted from a rock like that. So you can imagine how the hard work goes, eh? <laughs> so at first I said I'm just gonna try it out. So I brought in some few products from Kenya, but just one box, so maybe about 20 products. Surprisingly, at the International Women's Centre, all the product was worked out. And that's when I, I saw that there was an exposure to the market. So it, the products start growing and growing. I was, uh, I was born in the village in Kenya where the soapstone come from. So the soapstone is like their livelihood that is passed on from generation to generation. That's their main source of income. This is what they sell to tourists or to other parts of the world to be able to have food. So these bags are made from wood and beads. So there is these little pieces here, the square ones are wood and then there's beading. What they do, they, they join all the wood first and then they put it together with the, with the inside part which is the rubber and it comes with a, a set here. It's like a set, so it's both of them together. And this bag goes for only $45 a piece. And also, what really motivates me with these women is that when they're working together, they're singing songs, and they are like a, a little community of their own. They're socializing at the same time they're working. Like our, our products are fair trade, right? So that means we give it uh, direct to the women in the village. When we sell it, like part of the profit goes straight to them. We don't bargain anything from them, like middlemen, business middlemen. These are my people, these are my cousins, my relatives. Just making sure that they get what they deserve is really awesome. And people cannot find this kind of product anywhere else because it's cut from a stone, most of it, and hand painted. And every piece has a story. What it is, it has a meaning. If it was not for the Immigration Women's Center, I would not have known that my product could be popular. They gave me a place to introduce the product to the market. So that's how it started. For more information, please visit our